Hey everybody, welcome back to the Urban Aviary. Uh, we're just doing a quick tip today, um, just shooting this quick and fast from the hip. Uh, something I learned um, from the first quail cages I built, you guys might remember that video. Um, I was using half inch by half inch galvanized bare galvanized steel uh, mesh for the flooring. Thought that would work just fine. Turns out that has two problems. First off, bare galvanized does not hold up to the acidic level of uh, the, the acid level in quail poop. So it does deteriorate over time. Uh, second thing it did is it gave my birds bumble foot really bad. So they always had open sores on their feet all the time. It was really bad. It was hurting them to walk. Um, so lesson learned, mistake that I made. Uh, I want to show you what the alternative is and what you guys should be using to make your quail cages uh, for the flooring. All right, I'll just show you this uh, set of cages here. Uh, the flooring size is actually, I hope you can see it against the background, all the poop in there down on the tray below. Uh, that's actually one of the reasons why this works so well. It's a half inch by one inch, and the poop falls down really easy, and whatever doesn't um, ends up getting pushed down through by their feet. So, And it is PVC coated. You can get vinyl coated. Um, the, you can get it pre-coated, or you can get a spray. Um, either way, um, and I'll put both of those in the uh, the uh, video description below so that you have those for a link to get to those. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of stuff you want to use. Um, that gal, the, you know, the, it's not galvanized. It's not bare, bare galvanized. It's got this PVC coating, or you can do vinyl or rubberized coating, and uh, it's a lot nicer. It uh, Obviously not as bad on the bird's feet, um, and it doesn't uh, get worn, and, and, you know, eventually birds are going to uh, totally destroy it uh, with how acidic their poop is. So, yeah, that's the size you're, you're wanting to look for, and again, I'll put the, uh, um, I'll, I'll put a link to both of those, both where you can get the wiring on Amazon and also uh, some different uh, coatings you can use if you want to just get straight galvanized and then coat it yourself. So there you go, guys. Just a quick tip for you. Uh, when you're building your cages, make sure that you're using that kind of stuff. Uh, you can get away with the galvanized, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's going to eventually rot and burn through. And it's just not good for your bird's feet to have the half inch by half inch. They need to have something for their feet to be able to sprawl out over a little better, more, more evenly, not have so much uh, pressure on different points in their feet. They need to be able to have that spread out a little bit. So that's the quick tip for today, you guys. Um, we'll be getting some more videos out soon. Um, we're actually going to be getting more uh, involved on Instagram, um, doing a lot more incubation. Um, we're actually about to get some silver birds into the incubator here uh, in the next day or two. So I'll be watching for that and watching for more of these quick tips. And until that next video, remember, you guys can do this too.